Hey yo, this is Dash, and um, I'm in my garage. Surprise, surprise. So here we have Bessie, and um, I'm still getting used to calling the smoker Bessie. Let's see. Oh, that's Kirk now. Kirk, we're talking about me getting ready to go to the uh, store and pick up hardware to fix Bessie. So, if you haven't or don't know uh, what or what Bessie is, Bessie is the uh, kick-ass smoker, okay, that Kirk built. Kirk actually coincidentally is building a new smoker. If you haven't or don't know about his channel, here it is right here. Go subscribe to his channel, tell him I sent you. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, when Kirk made the smoker, he put a piano hinge on here and he spot welded each of the you know where the places where the piano hinge was I guess there's a seam where he put two together and then I tried to because the piano hinge was failing I tried to use some uh, I guess these are maybe three quarter inch sheet metal screws self tapping sheet metal screws and the problem is they're not long enough what's happened is And if I had enough light, all right. So what's happened is the sheet metal screws have just there we go. The sheet metal screws have just grabbed onto the sheet metal from the tank, and it's holding on to the, to the metal from the tank. But it didn't actually go through this piece of angle here. So what I'm going to do is go and get some, whoops, what I'm going to do is go and get some uh, hardware, uh, I guess quarter inch by maybe an inch, uh, nuts and bolts, and I'm going to drill some holes and drill some holes across the top there and uh, fix the door. All right, I'm off to the hardware store. The hardware store. So I just ran to Lowe's real quick. I'm not being endorsed by Lowe's or nor paid or anything. Nor am I being paid for any of the stuff I'm about to show you. I got. All right, so quarter inch, number twenty by three quarter inch. I think that should be plenty. Oh, you can't see. That should be plenty long to get through. Um, quarter inch washers, some sharpies. And then I got a new quarter inch drill bit, even though I do have uh, this little pilot point, blah, 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 something or other by the wall. It's like five bucks for the freaking bit. All right, um, so now, all right, so my plan is to measure from here to here and figure out how many nuts or, and, and bolts or how much hardware I want to put in between. I was guessing I might do 10 nuts and bolts but we'll see how you know how it measures up and go from there all right me again uh all right uh so what i decided was i measured from the center and then went out five inches on either side so what i'm gonna do is uh take the hardware those um sheet metal screws that i put in there already i'm gonna take those out and uh Try to get the door on as try to get the door on there as best possible, and then I will uh, go ahead and start drilling the hole. Hey, yo, this is Dash, and I'm what bet you're wondering why I have on my welding helmet. Well, um, yeah. So I tried to drill holes into the door. And when I drilled holes into the door and put screws into the door, now mind you, this whole evening has been a debacle. So, let me catch my breath. Where do I begin? All right, so here's Bessie. And you can kind of see some of the welds up there and I'm gonna glance over them real fast because my welds are horrible. Because of the fact that I'm still learning how to weld. All right, so, in a nutshell, 
I went and bought hardware, okay? The hardware I bought was too short because of the fact that there was such a gap when the door was open because the piano hinge seems to be kind of, uh, I won't say seized, but it's stuck a little. Um, so because of that, I ended up having to use hardware that I had here already. Yeah. So I used uh, still a quarter inch. <laughs> now, wait, remember that bit that I showed you guys that I bought? As soon as I put it into the first piece of metal, it broke the tip. I do have a drill doctor, though I don't know how to use it, so I might try and fix the bit, but nonetheless. I broke the bit. I ended up having to use bits that I already had, all right? The hardware I bought was too short. I ended up having to use hardware that I already had. I don't know why I'm counting those things. I really don't. All right, nonetheless, um, so here's my work area, all right? Here's like the boneyard of the, the, the th uh, three quarter inch uh, self tapping screws. This is an inch screw that didn't was too short. Here's an inch and a half that ended up being long enough when it was extended and things like that. Here's that box of hardware I bought. You know, tape measure, uh, hammer, another drill, a couple grinders, wrench, wire cutters, welder, ladder. Yeah. Nonetheless, okay, quickly. Okay. So, honestly enough, The door works, okay, which is most important, okay. Look like you were dirty there, all right. The door works and it seems to be good. Um, what I'm most likely gonna end up having to just keep doing is when and or if the welds break. Now, one of the things, see how you can barely see any light under there? That was what I was trying to accomplish. I wanted to seal that up um, because heat, heat and smoke escape from the from the lid when it's when it's open like that. Okay, so heat and smoke escape from the lid uh, when it's open, and um, I wanted to make sure that it was closed. Now. Because of the fact that the piano hinge that was used is uh, fairly thin metal, I mean, it probably isn't even like, uh, hold on, let's see, looking at my metal guide here, it's probably like 22 gauge, which is really thin. So, it's probably thinner than this one right here. Um, yeah. So, because it's so thin, it, um, because it's so thin, it doesn't take much to blow through it. I think it's like uh, not even 22 gauge or 22 gauge. Um, and the the gauge on the tank, I think, is like a, a 16 gauge maybe. So the, the two thicknesses are different. I was blowing through the, the piano hinge, trying to make sure that I got good penetration on the tank itself. So what I ended up having to do was kind of like wrap my puddle back around sorry you see my hands are filthy from dealing inside of the smoker and stuff like that but i had to kind of like wrap the puddle around and get it to get decent penetration on the tank and then just like loop it into the to the um to the piano hinge and i still ended up burning through it anyway nonetheless um i'm hoping the welds that I put on there will hold for a little while. Um, it's definitely not pretty, um, but at least they're functional. That's what I'm going for at this point. So, nonetheless, repaired. All right, <clears throat> so this is Dash. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.